Let's try to understand the spread of excitation in the heart. How the depolarization spreads in the heart, particularly ventricles. It's always asked whether the spread of depolarization and repolarization is in the same direction or in the opposite direction, which is the last part of the heart uh, to be depolarized and which is the last part of the heart to recover. So let's understand this. Before we uh, deal with this particular part, let's uh, reiterate one concept and that is when we talk of an impulse, impulse is traveling, impulse is spreading, membrane excitation is happening, membrane excitation is traveling. What is it? What is traveling? Whether it is depolarization and repolarization together traveling, whether it is action potential traveling. Remember this, that when you talk of impulse traveling, impulse means depolarization. When you say impulse is traveling, it means depolarization is traveling. And uh, when you say membrane is excited, what is membrane excitation? Depolarization means membrane excitation. When you say membrane has excited nerve or muscle, its membrane has excited means it is depolarized. It is the depolarization which then travels. So impulse traveling means depolarization traveling. Then what is the meaning of repolarization? How do you look at the repolarization? Repolarization means recovery from excitation. Repolarization should be seen as recovery from membrane excitation. So that the membrane can excite again. So that's how we can we should look at the depolarization and repolarization. Let's not look at them as the action potential, uh, two parts of an action potential. Let's look at them separately. Let's separate them out. Only then we will be able to understand what happens in the heart. Before we talk about the heart, let me also tell you about the nerve. If we are talking about the nerve, let's say this is the first point to depolarize. Then depolarization will travel through the nerve in a particular deep, uh, in a particular direction then recovery also will occur in the same direction if these are the points which are depolarizing one by one and impulse is traveling in this particular direction then recovery will also occur in the same direction the part that depolarizes first will also recover first and therefore repolarization repolarization will also occur in the same direction as that of depolarization the reason is that this is one single unit so all points on the nerve have same property of excitation they have the same property of depolarization and repolarization they have same rates of depolarization so the part depolarizes first it recovers also first, it repolarizes first and therefore same direction for depolarization and repolarization. Consider this one single unit, the nerve fiber, the axon is one single unit. Now come to the heart. Heart should be seen as not one single unit like a nerve. Let's see a diagrammatic representation of ventricle. In the ventricle, this is not one single uh, bundle or one single unit like we saw in the case of nerve. This is made up of muscle cells or muscle fibers. I am showing it diagrammatically over here. These are, this is only a diagrammatic representation to understand how it can happen. So, the ventricle is made up of different cells and these different cells have different properties of excitation. I mean their excitability rates are different. Their depolarization rates are different and therefore it can so happen that depolarization in the ventricle spreads from apex to base 
then repolarization can occur in the reverse. Why? We will describe it now in detail these properties. But let's understand that uh, first things first, depolarization spreads from apex to base and endocardium to epicardium. This is the apex, this is the base. So depolarization spreads from apex to base and at the same time endocardium to epicardium, endocardium to epicardium. So last to depolarize in the heart, last part of the heart to get depolarized is uh, epicardium of the base of the heart. Epicardium because the, the impulse or depolarization was spreading from endo to epicardium. Epicardium of the base of the heart or base of the left ventricle to be more precise because left ventricle is a thicker muscle mass. So it will take extra time to complete its depolarization and excitation. Now, recovery occurs in the reverse that it occurs from base to apex and epicardium to endocardium. Let's see how and why this is possible. If this fiber at the apex was the first to depolarize fiber at the apex first to depolarize that means it is first to begin to depolarize but it does not complete its depolarization look what i am trying to say is depolarization will spread from apex to base like this and then i am saying that the recovery repolarization will occur in the reverse. So this fiber at the apex was first to depolarize, then it should have repolarized also first that by logic, but no, it is recovering in the end. It is repolarizing in the end. Why? Because it is the first to depolarize means it is the first to begin to depolarize. And then the depolarization spreads towards base. But this is not the first to complete the depolarization. It just begins to depolarize. And then depolarization spreads towards the base. As the fiber at the base depolarizes, this is the fiber at the base, it will immediately repolarize. It will complete the depolarization most rapidly and it will begin to, to repolarize or it will uh, repolarize and recover immediately. So it will be the first to repolarize. By that time, the previous fiber will have completed its depolarization. So it will begin to repolarize. And in this manner, repolarization will go on occurring in the reverse. It is not a traveling wave. It's just occurring. And why, when it can occur? Only when the fiber has completed the depolarization. So these fibers are completing their depolarizations at different rates and therefore you can see the fiber at the apex which was first to begin to depolarize actually finishes its depolarization in the end and then therefore it will repolarize and recover in the end so depolarization and repolarization can occur in the reverse the reason is these are different units and they are different cells with different rates of depolarization. Different rates of depolarization in the case of ventricle. So most rapidly depolarizing cell in the heart is the cell at the base. The moment depolarization wave reaches there, it instantly completes its depolarization. So let's just see the action potential in the ventricular cells fiber at the apex this is the action potential it started the depolarization at this point of time but it has finished the depolarization at this point of time and then it begins to repolarize so it has taken this much amount of time to complete its depolarization and then it will recover. 
but in this much amount of time all those things are going to happen that the depolarization will spread towards the base let's just write it here this is the fiber at the apex we are talking about uh, so by the time it completes its depolarization in this much uh, time duration or amount of time what all things will happen depolarization will spread towards the base and recovery will occur in a fiber by fiber by fiber manner in the reverse and this will be the last to begin to repolarize because it will be the last to complete the depolarization and if we look at the other fibers in the ventricle their action potentials will appear like this as you move towards the base the depolarization rate will be rapid and rapid and rapid and the fiber at the base this will be the action potential for the fiber at the base most rapidly depolarizing cell the moment depolarization wave arrives there in the base it will complete its depolarization in no time quickest possible time and then it will be the first to repolarize so it has started repolarization by that time previous fiber completed the depolarization so it has begun to repolarize so you can see repolarization is occurring fiber by fiber by fiber in the reverse and fiber at the apex will be last to complete the depolarization so it will be the last to recover so this is possible in the case of heart and uh, uh, therefore depolarization goes from apex to base and endocardium to epicardium then repolarization and recovery occurs in the reverse in the reverse and therefore repolarization occurs in the end in the apex so last part of the heart to repolarize is apical endocardium look depolarization spreads from apex to base and endocardium to epicardium so repolarization come in comes in the reverse it will be from base to apex and epicardium to endocardium so last to repolarize and recover will be apical endocardium so the point was very very simple look at the depolarization re and repolarization as two different entities only then you will be able to digest this particular uh, happenings in the heart the most important explanation is still waiting you let's have a clinical explanation on this when we record depolarization and repolarization from one point of the nerve what do we get we get a graph like this the graph of the action potential we are recording this action potential from one point depolarization is upstroke repolarization is downstroke so these two electrically opposite types of events depolarization and repolarization are electrically opposite types of events depolarization means inside becomes positive repolarization means inside again becomes negative so electrically opposite types of events and therefore when they are recorded graphically they get recorded in opposite directions obvious no two ways about it fine now we come to the heart electrical activity in the heart is recorded by the ecg and this is the ecg p wave qrs complex and t wave and you might have already read that qrs complex represents ventricular depolarization and t wave represents ventricular repolarization watch that depolarization and repolarization electrically opposite types of events they should have got recorded in the opposite directions but what do you observe here ventricular depolarization and ventricular repolarization QRS and T wave they have got recorded in the same direction either upstroke or both will be downstrokes depending on which lead you are recording the ECG so how has that happened 
the simple answer is the depolarization and re uh, first of all uh, before i tell you the explanation this is not from one cell or one point in the ventricle this is the summated activity of the entire mass entire chamber qrs complex is the depolarization from all the cells summated put together and similarly the t wave so this is the entire chamber and not one cell now let me tell you the explanation depolarization and repolarization are electrically opposite types of events and in the heart if they are spreading in the opposite directions look they are vectors they have direction so they are spreading in the opposite directions then their record will come in the same direction electrically opposite types of events and they are spreading in the opposite direction also so something like two minuses making one plus something like that just for the sake of explanation uh, therefore the two minuses cancelling out electrically opposite events and they are spreading in the opposite directions so finally their record comes in the same direction on the ecg i'm explaining i'm uh, reiterating this that this is the summated potential from the entire chamber not from one single point so what you should understand and keep in mind is heart is not a single band is not a single uh, tissue it's made up of different cell types or not different cell types but rather different cells with different excitation properties and therefore all these things are happening in the heart in a certain way spread of repolarization is in the opposite direction it's an electrically opposite type of event and spreading in the opposite direction so we get qrs and t complex in the same direction and that's the explanation last part to repolarize and recover is apical endocardium